Good enough. All right, fellers. Last chance for romance. <clears throat> what y'all thinking? Mm. Ain't looking good for the whole team. Does anybody, if anybody could be in Jackson in 10 minutes, Adam does need a cameraman this morning. Any takers? Yeah, uh, shoot me a uh, Instagram message if you don't mind. I'll tell you yeah. what. <laughs> need to be on your way right now, though. It is the last morning. It is... Uh, about the same same weather we've had all weekend. It's humid. Got a southeast. They're showing east, but probably not much of nothing. I'm going back to where I hunted the first day uh, and yesterday morning. I was going to change it up, but I got a gut feeling just going back to the sage field. Blair's going back after the six-pointer that he uh, saw the other morning. Had him on camera last night, so... Should be there pretty close. And Cupcake here, he's going back to the lodge field without a camera. 200 yards that way. Watch, I'll be the only one to kill a deer. We ain't even got a camera. That's, that's when it happens. Right. Here, I did score me an Adam Sanders CD this weekend. Look at that. Hey, you got your hat, koozie, you got your swag bag. I just wanted a hat, a shirt, and you didn't even bring me one. Mm. That's for my special. All right, here we go. Last morning, let's cross our fingers. The good thing is, Barker did tell me that this being in a CWD county, if some reason I don't get it done this morning, he can get a tag extended through August and September. So we might have to, we might have to put her in overtime if it don't happen. But it's kind of like cheating, but you know. Kind of like cars that didn't work if they call about all the time. It's kind of like in boats that come in at two in the morning, ain't it?
these lanes. It's got clover in them all through this thicket right here. There's a big bean field right over here to the west. And these deer have been crossing this lane back and forth. That's another one right over there. And then there's another big field of clover in this soybeans behind us. Just a food plot soybean. But anyways, these deer have been crossing this lane back and forth, back and forth. We actually saw it a moment ago. Couldn't get a shot at him, but we just put a bullet in him, maybe. Pretty sure. Yes. Plan the entire year for it, that moment when it all comes together. From setting up the trail cam or sighting in, you're dedicated to crafting the perfect hunt. We're dedicated to making sure you can be at the right place at the right time to make the shot. Visit us online to find a dealer near you. Down the slow dirt rolling fast and taking it slow. Good, don't you? Just, right. just roll it in, just freaking with music bumping. Started. God, you got Cooper, you got him ready. Hey, where's he at? Here's here's the question for you. Give him a pep talk. Well, what I always do is I put him in a kennel because I knew you were coming, and I'm gonna start him on the same thing every time I get him out and put him on a leash. Say, let's go to work. He'll be ready. Now, here's the question Are we gonna let him start it and see, or are we gonna try to go and I think we honestly, I got enough confidence in him that if we'll, if we can see that he's on blood, like let him just let go. him go, just let him go. But if he starts veering off and doing his thing, and you're like, all right, blood's over here, then we'll call it off and we'll just let yeah. him. But I think I'd like to put him first and see if he'll just go straight to him. There you heard it, folks, from the dog whisperer. Come here, hey, come here, come here, sit down, sit down, sit. And something, folks, when you hunt like me and Blair, you got to have one of these on call at right. all times. Let's go to work. Go to work. Go to work. We're going to track a deer, finally. Buck killer. We got blood for a change. Hey! <laughs> you just got to the spot of impact here. We got blood right here. See hey, make sure you film Cooper with that GoPro. I got it. And we're going to see if we can't put old Cooper on him. See, look right here. All through here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got him. Checking in in the Tennessee Valley season, baby. Heck, he didn't run 100 yards. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Checking in right here. On the Tennessee velvet season, day three, morning number three, and this is a big six point that Bart found. He's known him for several years. He hunts here at Barker's a lot more, and he's been working hard running trail cameras for the last about six weeks. And he found this buck along with several others in this spot, and uh, it's one we wanted to kill. He's definitely mature. We've known him for several years. He's always been a six. He's grown a lot of just little bumps. Got good mass on his. Main frame here, but uh, Madison County, it's a CWD county. And um, hey, we don't I don't get a chance to rifle hunt a whole lot, hunting the Midwest. And we usually don't get to rifle hunt until the later part of the season we come back and hunt Alabama a lot. So tickled to death to get to carry a rifle out this morning. Make the make the odds a little easier. And uh, get on one of these Tennessee studs. 
Big thanks to Barker for letting us hunt, and then for Bart for coming out here and doing most of the work, getting us on, getting us on these, on these deer. And then, uh, oh Adam and Cooper over there in the background, they put old Cooper on the, on the, on the quick track job this time. Almost that we had picked out, and uh, because of his age, we always try to pick out the old mature ones, no matter what they, what they're carrying on their head. And this was one that we were after, probably the oldest, this buck and one other was the oldest ones in the bunch, so. Tickled to cash in on this rival here for a change. Get one knocked out for the, kick off the season here for the rival. I got it, I filmed, no dragon. Yeah. Probably go right there and drive the ranger right to it, right? It's only one time when it feels right taking a suspect game camera down and that's after you just punched a tag on your rival. Pulling out of Jackson, going over to catch up with dad one more evening. I hunted with him yesterday and I got back over here this morning so I could stay after this six point that I got killed this morning. So I'm headed back over here to hunt with dad this evening and see if we can't finish this little velvet season out on a high note. We got one down, we'll film dad, see if we can't get the second buck shot, so. players involved. We, 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 we got all the beans and the corn and everything ready. It's just the way it is. We, we I can't tell you one thing. 
Clyde's going down. He may go down with a bow later on when the season gets here, but for the muzzle loader, it was a chip shot today. And with a rifle, bingo. So uh, we, did, we did have a chance at, at uh, a deer we called Groovy. He was in range for about 10 seconds, but we, we wasn't sure that was him. And Blair said, hey, that's creepy, that's creepy. So uh, that's the way it goes. Hey, it's fun anyway. It's not all about killing. It's fun. We had a really good hunt today.